Now this is Hallett Elementary in Medical Lake. Although the surrounding area of the school is clearly burned there with black covering once green ground, the school is otherwise fine. The same goes for most other schools in Medical Lake. Some families in that school district, though, lost everything, and that's why the district will be starting the school year as planned to be a resource and a sense of normalcy for families still grappling with this new reality. Our Bronte Sarotsky shares the resources the district is giving local families and why they're keeping the school year on track. After checking out all the school buildings, the Medical Lake School District says that students will be able to return to the classroom in one week. And when they do return, they'll have the emotional and physical resources that they need to start the school year. This is like the worst start to a year. Next week, schools in Medical Lake will be open to students, families, and staff, many who just experienced great loss. Most of my friends' houses survived. One of them didn't. Sadly, and I'm still checking on my other friends. Superintendent Kimberly Hedrick says the decision to keep the school year on track came because the district wanted families to have a sense of stability amid a wave of uncertainty. The, the biggest worry was whether or not they were going to get to be able to be and get back to medical lake schools. And I assured that parent, as I would assure all, all of our parents, that absolutely. When students do return next Wednesday, they'll be met with a wide range of support to help them process everything that's happened over just the last few days. We have a uh, crisis response team. We have counseling support. Um, student services director is working with the e ESD 101s team to pro provide additional support and, and create a plan so that we can support all of our kiddos. The district is also sharing resources to make sure families have places to sleep, food to eat, and anything else they may need. We are a family. It's been difficult, but again, it has been just really heartwarming to know that uh, just how much this entire community uh, of the Inland Northwest cares. Information for all of these resources will be up on our website, kxly.com. Reporting in Medical Lake, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now. The superintendent of Cheney Public Schools is also showing support, writing in a statement, quote, I am so proud of our community for pulling together to support family, friends, and strangers alike. Not one of us could or should go through this alone. You can find the start of school information, resources for families impacted by the Gray Fire in their newsletter. Find this link in this story on KXLY.com.